Replacing the battery on a Mini 1. The battery is located under this cover here. And as you can see, it's the original battery on a 13 year old car. So it's done pretty well to last this long. Now to get the battery out, we need to remove this part of the scuttle. So there's a 10 mil plastic nut here and we can remove this rubber seal. We're only removing this side of the scuttle. A 10 mil plastic nut at the front and a 10 mil metal bolt at the back here. So the scuttle will be pressed in at the bottom of the windscreen. But they do slide out. Now for the terminals, I remove negative first and replace negative last. This is to reduce the risk of shorting. So if we remove the positive first, it'd be very easy to short to the body. Whereas if we remove the negative, you can't short the negative out to ground. I'll tuck the negative cable out of the way just for now and undo the positive both 10 mils might help to disconnect this little connector here, which is for the intelligent battery monitoring or intelligent charging. This gives us a bit more room on this positive lead here. And now undo this 10 mil, either with a 10 mil or with a crosshead screwdriver. And this is clamping the bottom of the battery. Now ready to remove the old battery. Ideally, you'll have two hands. It may take a bit of wiggling at first, but if you've got both hands, it shouldn't be too difficult. So there's a vent on the side, which plugs into here, so you'll want to Transfer this over to the new battery. Positive on the left, so the hole here. Obviously, if you get any battery acid on your hands, wash it straight off or wear gloves in the first place, ideally. I've never actually had a battery leak out in the 
acid until now. I've washed it straight off. So nothing really to check in here. You can give it a clean out if you really want. So the battery goes in rear first, slots under there. That's why it's a little bit difficult to remove at the, at the, initially. You lift the front up first and then pull it out. Sorry, Bonnie. Watching the battery leads as we do it. Obviously, a bit difficult with one hand. I'm not quite located yet. away from the terminals. That looks to be sat in position now so you can see at the bottom and if you try lifting the battery up rear first you won't be able to pull it out. The front, the front isn't clamped but the rear is in position. So refit the Positive terminal first. There are greases that people use for battery terminals. But I mean, as, as you can see on this car, this it's clearly well enough covered that the terminals aren't suffering from corrosion. The torque on battery terminals isn't high at all. It's about eight newton meters for some manufacturers. That's a positive. Negative lead. Battery nicely secure. Refit the vent pipe. I'm ready to refit the scuttle. Now my experience is on VWs predominantly with these. You've got this piece of plastic that slots in to a piece of rubber at the bottom of the screen and this design is slightly different to the VWs but the principle is the same and what I've found is when refitting quite often these channels get full of crud and you'll find it difficult to 
refit them properly and you'll then suffer with water ingress so just taking a bojo tool this is tip 57 and cleaning out the channel so that the trim clips back in fully and creates a proper seal. If you're ever struggling with these, use some soapy water on the rubber trim and not WD-40 or oil. So that's everything, other than perhaps changing the clock. Which I might as well do while I'm here. So, menu, config, time, whichever time format you want, 24 hour, 12 hour. Not AM, are we? Sometime in the PM anyway. Minute, date, I never know what date is. Um, now that appears to be month first, so American format. Um, August, day of the month and the year. I think there is an option on there to change the format as well, if we can get to it. Oh. Perhaps not. So yeah, that's changing the time anyway. Time and date. I do hope this video has helped. If it has, please do leave a comment. And for more videos on this car and many, many others, please do check out my channel. Thank you.